Now for this part, we've got to find the equation of the regression line of w on t in the form w equals a plus bt. Now to do something like this, what we've got to do, and I'm going to just take you through some background quickly, what you've got to remember is that normally you're asked to find regression lines of y on x. And if that's the case, then that regression line would take on the form y equals a plus bx, where b is given by sxy over sxx. And you should, as I say, be familiar with this. If not, you'll find it generally in your formula book anyway. And for a, we know that on this line, there's always a theoretical point. It's the point x bar, y bar. But well, let's just put x bar, y bar at the moment. And because that's a point on the line, it satisfies this equation. So we know that, therefore, y bar must equal a plus bx bar. Let me just write that in for you. y bar equals a plus bx bar. And if we rearrange this for a, we therefore have that a must equal y bar minus bx bar. Now, all we've got to do is essentially work on this basis, where we have, instead of x, we now have t, and wherever we had a y, we have a w. So what we've got then is that b must be equal to s, it was x, y, it is now going to be tw, s, t, w all divided by, it was SXX, it's now STT. And when it comes to working out what A was, A is equal to, instead of the mean of Y, it'll be the mean of the W value, so it'll be W bar, minus B, the value obviously that we've just worked out here, times what was X bar is now T bar, the mean of the T values. So there's a little bit of background, and you could work out these values, substitute them into here, and you've got the regression line. So you might like to pause the video at this stage. In fact, just work out those values. If you want to check them back with my working, then just come back in a few moments. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you got on. So we need to get B first of all. So to get B, we know that it's STW then, all divided by STT. And we've got these values up here that we worked out earlier. So STW is minus 5.03, and that's divided then by STT, 191.6. And if you work that out, you end up with minus 0.02625, and so on. This B value represents the gradient, and you can see it's negative. It's what we would expect for something like this. So uh, we need to now work out what A is, but to do that we need W bar, the mean of W, and T bar, the mean of T. So let's stop off and work out those. W bar, the mean of W, that's going to be the sum of all the W values divided by how many we've got, which is 10. And so we've got this value, sigma W, 111.75, so we've got 111.75, divide that by 10, and obviously we've got 11.175. So there's W bar. Now we get T bar, mean of the T's. Similarly, it's going to be sigma T divided by 10. Sigma T, that's 158. Divide that by 10, and you've got 15.8. Now we can get what A is. A is equal to W bar minus B T bar. So W bar then is going to be 11.175 minus B. We've got the B up here. So it's going to be minus minus. So we might as well change that to a plus there. And it'll be 0.02625 
and so on, multiplied by T bar, which is 15.8. And if you work that one out, you end up with that equaling 11.5897 and so on. Now, we're in a position to quote the regression line of W on T. So therefore, we've got the regression okay, line, let's just give it a little intro, is, and we need to round these values up. Okay, so let's suppose we give them to three significant figures. So we've got W equals A, A being to three significant figures, 11.6, so 11.6. And then we've got minus, no, we haven't, we've got plus, I should say, up here, plus BT. But B was a minus anyway, so it's going to be minus. And then if we give that to three significant figures, it's going to be minus 0 0.0263, and then the T. Okay, so I'll just say that that is to 3SF, three significant figures. Squeeze that in there. All right, so that's giving you some idea then how we go about getting that regression line for W on T. Okay?